Howdy, I'm John, and I thought I'd show you how plant figs went for me and how easy it can be done. First, you need a loose, well-draining soil and a site with full sun exposure. That makes everything a whole lot easier. I put mine into a chicken wire basket so gophers are less likely to get them. Click the link at the top right if you'd like to see a video on how I build them. For most folks, I might recommend more amendments, but my soil is very fertile and actually right what figs need. They like a pH of 5.5 to 6.5. You can get bare root figs or cuttings that you root yourself, but these ones I got are large figs from a local nursery <laughs> because I could not help myself. Fig trees can get a few meters tall and wide, but I'm going to aspire these. So hit the notification bell to get updates as they grow. Figs have a wide, extensive root system that likes to run just under the ground and that extend out quite a ways. They also like to be planted on a bit of a mound so that they don't have water pulled up around them. I made the planting holes a week or so beforehand. It's best to have the hole ready so you don't go rushing things when they come in. All I needed to do now was dig out the mix in the hole and fit check the pot for size. I also wanted to check the fit on the wires for the laterals for the espalier. I'll train it to a two-arm system. This will keep it small. With just the two of us, how many figs do we really need? I had to dig a bit more soil out, and now it's time to pull the little tree out of its pot. It's good to make sure the soil is moistened an hour beforehand, and squeeze the bucket at a few spots so that the plant roots loosen from that, and they should hopefully slide out fully and show a good extensive root system that is healthy and not pot bound. Ah, uh, this one looks a bit darker and is far wetter than I'd like. I didn't water it beforehand because I knew it was already quite moist. Pop it into its hole and put the mix back in a bit at a time. If the root ball is sturdy enough, you can wiggle and jiggle the little girl, but be careful. We want to settle the soil in, make sure the root ball is firm contact with the new soil so the roots will grow straight out. You can use a stick or your hand or something to ram down there a little bit. You want to get all the air out. Form a basin around to direct water and firm the mound a bit so everything holds together. Water well right away. We want soil to fill any air pockets alongside the root ball. I'm using a slurry of peat moss just because I had some in a bucket. Check out how well this soil drains. And because I love them so, I am giving them some nice worm castings and potting mix I made myself with my own special recipe. But newly planted figs don't really need fertilizer. They need biology in the soil and mulch is the best way to provide that. These plants will eventually form a thick mat of roots just below the soil surface. So I am mulching the entire area with a thick layer of wood chips so the roots will likely be very happy. Then water the mulch. You want to start the biology process as well as lock the mulch together better against the wind. After that, it's a simple matter of letting them grow like they want for most of the summer. The main idea is to let them settle into this spot and be happy. Give them a decent soaking every week or so this first summer. Hit like and subscribe if you like. Come back and see how well they do through the summer. See ya!